the dignity and the diversity of a woman. She is the next generation you want to kill. Why would a young man be reciting a poem in a public fee-paying toilet? He is a cleaner of toilets at one of Lusaka's busiest malls. He has been doing this for the last 10 years and is usually stuck up in here from morning until evening when he knocks off to go to his humble dwelling in Kalingalinga compound of Lusaka. The young man has recounted some of his experiences working as a cleaner of toilets. It's, it's a very sad experience. It only takes the brave and the strongest, that, those that are determined. You know, cleaning people's sheet and your salary is not matching to the job you are doing. It's something so sad and so unbearable. Like somebody will just come, miss the toilet, shit on the floor, they point fingers at you, they ask you rudely to clean the toilet and with humility and humbleness, you just go ahead, do your job, life goes on, you don't know what tomorrow will give birth to. Gibson is a school leaver and a former head boy of his school. Boy. And I want to do mass communication and public relations. By God's grace, through Smart Move Zambia, I got a 20% bursary to study mass communication and public relations at Cavendish University, Zambia. I had been yearning to ask him why he's cleaning toilets. What's your course and how are you finding it? Uh, my course duration is four years, and I'm starting on, in July. I'm starting this July intake speaks with a lot of conviction of where he wants to be in the future. But I see myself, okay, I see the future Gibson in the next uh, five to ten years as the future president's spokesperson under the public relations course that I'm doing. Uh, if not that, I see myself as the Minister of Information under mass communication in the course that I'm doing. He has also appealed to well wishes to lend him a helping hand. Well wishes, they can help me with my school fees, like settling my school fees then I would be so glad knowing that the burden will be lessened to me because I need to pay rent. I stay on my own. Mother is in the village. She lives in a makeshift from Shakoda house. So being the firstborn, I'm the only hope for her. So I need to, to change that life. I need to be the pillar to my mother and my three siblings. Tito Kalama for S24. So God bless you, Gibson. It's good to have you. This is Brother Abraham Angel Israel, uh, the founder of Angelic Ministries International from USA. And once again, I just want to say uh, I'm proud of you and uh, thank you very much for uh, taking this step for you to uh, come on this platform. And uh, it is so amazing, you know, it is so amazing. You know? I, I guess so you have uh, been visited by Angelic Ministries International uh, team that came to your house, uh, you know, because I saw uh, your video that has been circulating on social media platform uh, where you have been cleaning the turrets uh, because you are trying to uh, raise money for your, uh, to get into university. So I decided to send my secretary and uh, my personal assistants to come to your house in Zambia, in Lusaka, uh, the main reason why is, you know, I just want to hear from you and uh, I would like to pray with you and uh, encourage you. And so you do introduce yourself and um, I want to hear from you. Thank you. Uh, thank you, sir. My name is Gibson Zulu. What do you do for a living? Uh, I work as a toilet cleaner for a living, that's what I do at one of the CBD's business mall mm. here in Lusaka, Zambia, and I stay in Kalingalinga of Lusaka, Zambia, and I'm 23rd years old. Um, I completed my grade 12 education, and I'm yet to attain university level of education. By God's grace, I managed to, to find myself in at Cavendish University, Zambia, one of the private universities in Zambia to study mass communication and public relations. Mm -hmm. It's a four years course. And at work where I work, I get my monthly salary is a 1,000 kwacha. Wow. For how many years you have been, you have been working as a toilet cleaner? Uh, I would say I've been working as a toilet cleaner for 10 years now because I didn't start now. 
it all started in form of peace works. Whereas I was still at school, that was I'm sure in grade seven somewhere there, through a certain friend a, of mine, a churchman, who was who is the youth director and the press team director is a gospel singer. He introduced me to his campaign. So during holidays, when I'm I'm having holidays from school, he could get me do some peace works, clean to his campaign. If it's not cleaning toilets. We could go do some other things, come back just like that until by God's grace, I managed to complete my grade 12 at the, at the Chunga Secondary School, one of the uh, high schools here in Zambia. And when I completed my grade 12, again, I went back to him to help me with the employment so that I can start working and raise money for my university. By God's grace, he helped me. I started work again. I started cleaning the toilets again at one of the Zambia CBD business mall. So that's where I'm working now. As I said, my monthly salary is a 1,000 kwacha. Oh, yes, sir. Wow, wow. So which means you have been working, you started working as a toilet cleaner at the age of what? Um, when I was in grade seven, I'm sure I was somewhere around, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I was 12, so. Wow. So you have been working as a toilet cleaner over for 10 years, am I right? Yes, sir. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, the reason why I'm asking all this question, because I wanted to know, I wanted to know that Jesus was born in a manger. It is a privilege to be born in a poor family, in an humble family. But in everything, God has a purpose and a plan for every child of God. Because of your humility, your humbleness, you could have involved yourself in a, a stealing in order for you to fulfill your dreams or your desires. But you decided to humble yourself with humility, integrity, working as a toilet cleaner, and you are getting a one southern every month as your monthly income in order for you to raise money for your education. This is the reason why Prophet Abraham, Angel, Israel, myself, I would like to help you. How do you feel about that? Uh, it feels good and so uh, exciting uh, that you would really help me, sir. I'm, I'm, I'm so excited about it, sir. So how have been your experience in uh, cleaning turrets? How do you feel about that? Do you want to continue cleaning turrets or what do you think? It's a sad experience cleaning the toilets, sir. Nobody would wish to clean the toilets. People clean the toilets because there is totally nothing they can do. That that's the only option. That's the only job that can help them put food on the table. Uh, I never thought I would find myself into cleaning toilets, but, and I don't love it. I'm not proud of myself cleaning the toilets, but because this is where the situation has taken me, this is where God wants me to pass through. I just accept what's on the ground and go for it as I'm praying and hoping for a better tomorrow. But the experience has been a sad experience because we meet different people. Cleaning, it's a public toilet for that matter. People would come, somebody mess up the toilet, miss the toilet pan, shit on the ground, leave urine all over the, the, the room. And it all comes back to the cleaner. Where are you? Can you come here? Clean this. We want to use the toilet. And there's nothing you can do to protect your job. You go clean. Life goes on just like that as we are praying and hoping for a better tomorrow. That's how I've been living. Wow. Okay. So concerning, uh, you said you completed your grade 12. And are you looking forward to go? You, I heard you saying you're looking forward to go to Cavendish uh, University. Yeah. Uh, 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 how many are you in your family? Where are your parents? Uh, my father died. Uh, in 2000, in the village, when I was just some months old. From there, mama started staying as a single woman. And from there, 
survived with me until I grew up. And I don't know what had happened. She, she got involved into a certain man who is a polygamist who was already married. So from that different man who is my stepfather, yeah, she has three children of which the first born is the girl, the second born is a boy and the last one is a boy. So uh, we are four, me, my young sister from a separate father and another brother and the last one, we are four. But from my father, I'm just alone. Oh, wow. So you are an orphan? Yes, sir. So let's say if you can find somebody who can sponsor your education, when are you intending to go to university? Uh, university usually starts uh, this, coming this coming July 2022. Wow, so if you can have, if you can have somebody who can sponsor your university uh, uh, education, you can go to, if you can find a sponsor, you can go to university by Joe Rye. Yes, sir. Okay. Wow. Okay, so uh, we do not give because we have money or we have too much money to give. We give because we are blessed. The definition of poverty is not because you do not have enough to give, but the definition of poverty is when you can have even a hundred dollars or one thousand dollars and you are not able to invest in somebody who is not even your leader. You are a poor person. So Prophet Abraham, angel Israel, wanna help you. So what I'm gonna do the first thing. You said your monthly income is 1000 every month. Yes, sir. So for the whole year, you make about how much? Uh, 12000 12000 Yes, okay. sir. Here is a deal. Because you are not comfortable, you are not happy with the kind of job that why you, you are doing. Myself also, I'm not happy. This is the reason why I decided to... Uh, communicate with you so that I can hear from you and I can help you. So here's the deal. I'm going to give you 12 Southern right away now. I want to give you 12 Southern. But with one condition, I want you to quit that work you have been doing. And I want to appreciate for your friend who helped you to get that job because if it wasn't you, are being employed at the toilet cleaning company, you wouldn't have met your destiny helper. Sometimes God will allow something to happen in your life so that you can meet a destiny helper. So right now, by the special grace of God, God has connected you to a destiny helper. So I want to help you. So what if I give you a 12,000 right now because this is how much you make in a year. Every month, your monthly income is once up. So I give you 12 Southern right now. Are you going to quit from working tonight? I want you to choose. Number one, I want to give you 12 Southern right now. But with one condition, I want you to quit from doing that work. That's the first thing I'm offering. Number second, I want to sponsor your university. I want to pay for you for the whole year. I want you to get into university. I want to give you 12 salary for you to stop working because I don't want to see you cleaning the toilets. This is what God spoke to me. I so, want you to quit from cleaning the toilets. There are many things that you can do because you say that you are not comfortable of doing that work. So here's a prophet from USA. I want to give you 12 salary now, cash. And also, I want to pay for your school fees for the whole year. In a year, there are three semesters. So I want to pay for the whole three years. Oh, I mean, the whole year. I want to pay for the whole year. What, what do you think about that? It's so exciting. It's, so, it, it's all right, sir. It, it's a very good thing in the name of Jesus. It, I, I'm grateful for that. Are you going to stop working? I would definitely, since you've said you give me the 12,000 that I make, that I get for, my, for, for a year, 
So it means that 12,000, I can see how I can have it invested into something, doing something unlike finding myself into cleaning toilets. And you've also said that you would pay, uh, you would cut a one year, two semester of my school fees. Absolutely. So I want you to, I want you to calculate how much is uh, your, your university uh, uh, fees for, for, uh, for two semesters or three semesters is how much? Uh, per semester is uh, 8,000. Okay, so, so that's how much? So per year, which is two semester, that's it. Eight plus eight, that's 16,000. Is it two semesters or three semesters? I was saying each semester is six months. Uh -huh. So meaning in a, in a year we have 12 months. That's when we divide it by two, we have uh, two semesters. Okay, so I'm gonna pay for, I'm gonna cut uh, your first year of university. I'm gonna pay for it. So I'm paying for it cash. And also I'm gonna give you 12 Southern right now as I'm talking to you. I believe uh, Angelic Ministries International team, they are with you. I sent them to come and find you, to come and look for you, to come and look for where you stay. They came out to your house. So I want them to give you 12 Southern. I'm giving you from my pockets. I'm giving 12 Southern now. And I want you to stop working. Secondly, I am going to pay for your, the whole first year, I'm catering you, the whole first year for your university, I'm going to pay for it. Thank you, sir. Thank you. May God bless you so much. You are a blessing to my life. You are a blessing to my family. May God, God will see you through. Blessed is the hand that giveth and the hand that receiveth. So God will richly bless your buckets of wealth in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Then after that, also, I'm going to, anytime, because I want to take you as my only child. I'm taking you as my only child. Every time when you are in need of uh, school, groceries, everything, you call me. I'll be buying stuff for you for your school groceries, your education groceries, everything, when you are in it, myself, I'll be helping you. So right now, I want, um, I want uh, uh, my personal assistants to give you the money right now. I want to give, give him 12 Southern now. Give him 12 Southern. Give him 12 Southern now. Thank you. Thank you so much. May God bless you, sir. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. May God richly bless you. Thank you. Thank Give you so God. much. Give him also, uh, what is the Bible? Give him the Bible. Show the Bible. What is it? Okay, so we are giving, I'm giving you 12 Southern from, uh, from Angelic Ministries International. This is from probably Abraham Angel Israel uh, Foundation. And uh, that's the Bible. Make God word a standard of your life. God. Uh, my word of advice and encouragement to each and everybody who is viewing us is that one, I've learned the, a man's greatest weakness is failing to believe, not having faith, and not having trust in God. So I would encourage and urge everyone to believe and have faith in God. For faith is the substance of things hoped for. When you have faith, you will see, you will keep moving, believe in God that things are possible. Never stop moving, never stop pushing. Believe that God can do wonders in life. And I would also want to say thank you, uh, Prophet Abram, Angel Israel, for, 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 for the marvelous thing that you've done to me, for coming on on board to help me. God will richly bless you. I'm encouraged by you coming on board to help me, sir. I'm, and I'm very grateful. My mother will be so happy to know about this because I am my her only hope. When she calls me on phone, she tells me of all my children, my eyes are on you. In case one day I leave this earth, I want you to take care of your siblings. 
So she's gonna feel happy knowing that I'll be on self ground going to school. Thank you, sir. And thank you so much. God will richly bless you. Thank you. So it is a privilege and it's a great honor to having seen you uh, rejoicing and appreciating King Jesus. I'm just a vessel. This man is not coming from, this man is coming from King Jesus. And this is a sign to show you that God loves you and he cares about you. So I'm very much happy and very much excited seeing you going to university. So I wish you all the best uh, in, your, in, your, in your dream, as you're gonna fulfill your dream going to university, as uh, God is using me to sponsor you and uh, take note of this. This is just a beginning. The best is yet to come. I love you, Gibson, Zolo, God bless you. Shalom. Thank you. Thank you.